Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to show you how to downgrade from iOS 18 beta to iOS 17 without losing any data. iOS 18 beta is exciting, but it's still filled with bugs and instability. If you're experiencing issues and want to revert to a more stable version, this video is for you. Let's get started. First, we need to turn off Find My Phone to prevent issues during the backup and downgrade process. Go to Settings. Tap on Account. Find My. And turn it off to prevent issues during backup and downgrade. Disabling this feature is crucial to ensure a smooth downgrade process. Next, it's absolutely essential to back up your iPhone to avoid any data loss. For more detailed backup instructions, watch the backup section of this video. Here's a quick overview. Connect your device to your computer. Open iTunes or Finder. Go to the summary page and click Backup Now to create a local backup. If iTunes doesn't support iOS 18 beta yet, use Finder for the backup. While downgrading with iTunes is an option, it can be error-prone. For your convenience, I will now show you a simpler way first, which is to use DBAC to downgrade your phone for three steps, and then show you how to downgrade with iTunes. One of the easiest ways to downgrade is using DBAC. This tool simplifies the process and minimizes the risk of data loss. DBAC is great because it makes downgrading iOS super easy, even for beginners, since it does everything automatically. Plus, it's not just for downgrading DBAC can also recover lost files, like photos, videos, documents, and emails from your iPhone, Mac, or Windows in over 1000 formats. Download DBAC and open it. Choose iPhone recovery. Enter recovery mode. Select advanced mode. The iOS 17 firmware is available here, or click here to get the firmware you downloaded. Once the download is complete, click Fix. Now you got your phone back to iOS 17. You can also use DBAC to upgrade your phone. If you want to know how to downgrade with iTunes let's move on method 2. Note that this method can occasionally fail and is more complex. You need to manually search and download the IPSW file. Go to the IPSW website, find your device model and select Download Firmware. Open iTunes or Finder, import the IPSW file. Hold the Shift key, Option key on Mac, click Restore iPhone, and select the IPSW file. Confirm the restoration to downgrade your iPhone. This method is free, but can be more prone to errors. Modify the backup after downgrading to make the backup fly compatible with the downgraded system. Open the Run dialog box, Win and plus R, type in percent app data percent, and hit Enter. Navigate to Apple Computer, Mobile Sync, Backup. Open the most recent backup folder. Find info.plist and open it in Notepad. Search for product and change iOS 18 to iOS 17.5.1. Then save the file. Go back to iTunes. Click Restore Backup and select the modified backup. iTunes will restore your data and restart your iPhone. Make sure you never lose important information by saving your data and downgrade iOS 18 beta. Once the restore is complete, you can set up your phone again. This time, all your apps, photos, and other data will be restored. And your phone will be downgraded to the version you like and that's it. The downgrade is complete. And that's how you downgrade from iOS 18 beta to iOS 17 without losing any data. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials and tips. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below.
Thanks for watching.